Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production, and today I'm gonna to show you some updates made to the Melda Production plugins, especially the banks. I'm gonna do this in M Sound Factory, and this will make it much easier for you to create devices. There's actually two updates that I wanna go over, and first one is in the wavetables. So here we have the wavetable module. For those that don't know, you can just pop this out here, too small, like that, so we can see it like this. There we go. It's a normal wavetable. I have some multi-parameters set up here, like the unison. Voices. Etc. But one thing you might want to do with this is actually switch the wavetable. So if I made this into an actual device, I wouldn't just want this set of wavetables. I want more. So what we can do is use the banks to do that. Previously, what you do is right click on this and you'd have the banks here, but now we don't have that anymore. We have a new and improved banks, so they're up here. So the first thing I wanna do is create something I like in the wavetables. Now, of course, you can analyze an audio file. There's some presets in here. You can import wavetables if you want, but let's use this new feature, which is generate. So click on generate and it asks you how many you want. I'm using wavetable 40, so 40 is the maximum. It says here 32. But watch when I do this. I'm not getting 32. And the reason is, is I only have four here. So what I want to do is move this all the way up to 32. And nothing's there. So I'm going to generate again. Make sure it's set to 32. And there we go. And we can move through this. Okay, I don't know if that's a great wavetable, but it's one you generated. Uh, let's make this a little bit easier for myself and hook this up to MIDI. So I'm just going to click MIDI here. Uh, get rid of that. I don't really need that. Set it. So I'll click Learn. Move this. And then I'll use my MIDI controller and just move the mod wheel. Turn Learn off. And it should be OK. Just make sure I have this on. So now. OK. So if that's my first wavetable. That's cool. I'm going to go in here to the new banks. And we can name it, which is great. So let's call this generated. Cool. But I don't want just one. Let's try maybe let's do four. So I'm going to save this first one. Save under generated. Go out here and I'm going to get another wavetable. Let's use one that's already there. So let's say vowels. Okay, I like that one. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to save it again, move to two and just name it vowels here, save. This is actually much easier than before. I'm not even sure you could name them before, but now you can. This is easier. Go into another one. Let's see here. Mail ah. Okay, we got that one. Go into banks. Mail ah. Save it. And then let's just do one more female ah. Okay. Female ah. And save. So now we have all four of them. What we want to do is use a molt, let's say, an MP, I should say, to switch between these. So we're just going to use one. Click on it, go in here. These are in the generator section, and we have wavetable one. So we're going to take the bank here, move it in banks mode. We don't want it to move through these values like this. We want to use a bank. And so now we have one, two, three, four. But you have to put in the names to do this. So before you'd have to manually type all of them in here, but now it's actually very easy. All we have to do is go into copy bank names here, go into here, click menu and use paste bank names. Boom. We got them all in here and just make sure these are moved to the right place. Vowels, male ah, female ah. Don't need them interpolated. Now we should be able to switch between them fairly easy. Oh, another thing I should mention. If you see it now, it's percentages. We don't want that. We want bank name here like this. So as we move, it's moving through them like this. Oh, 
Okay, and now let's look at the unison. You saw when we moved it, it turned off. We don't want that. We want all of these, the unison voices in Detune, to stay the same as we switch through the banks. So for that, what we're going to do is turn this off, move it back to normal. We're going to go into the banks here, and you see at the bottom here it says MPs to update. So that means these parameters are going to be updated whenever we switch banks, depending on what these MP values are. So we have two, I'm going to put a comma, we have three, and we have four. So it's unison, voices, and detune, two, three, and four, like that. Another thing which kind of threw me off at first is MPs to update level. It starts at zero, and if we have it at zero, it's not going to do anything. It goes up to 100, and it'll go up to the lowest one. So I think this will actually work on one, but I'm just going to put it on 100 anyways. Probably waste more memory, but who cares? So we have this now, and hopefully now it should update as we go through this. So let's turn this on. <laughs> Next one, still on. So now, as you can see, as we go through this, the unison voices and detune settings are saved when we're going between the different banks. So using this, you can use tons of different banks. I don't even know what this goes up to. Let's check. Whoa, 128. So you could use 128 wavetables. I don't know if that's going to use a ton of memory or not, but you can do it if you want to. So that's how you can do it. I'm going to do it one more time just to show you how fast you can do it using M Turbo Filter. And let's make three there too. So let's go to our first one. Let's say shoot 12 decibels per octave, 12 dB. Ladder, save. Let's go to. Try to this. Four. Twenty-four dB ladder. Thought wrong. Save. Let's go to the next one. Rotund. Rotund. Ooh. Hit something. Computer didn't like that. I uh, didn't want to do that. Rotund, save, and let's do one more. What should we do? Uh, let's do high pass. And save. So now we ha should have those all saved. We're going to copy the bank names here. Use this here, go into the generator, banks, move the banks here, paste bank names there, make sure we move between them, 12 dB ladder, 24 dB ladder, rotund, and ladder, make sure I set this to bank name like this, don't need to interpolate values, and I could name this if I want, like filter. Type. And so that's almost done, but what I want to do is make sure that the frequency, pitch mode, and Q are all preserved as I'm moving through these, like this. So this is 11, 12 for the pitch mode, and 13 for the Q. And I'll just use one for this. So let's Try this and see if I can move between these and it'll keep the frequency and everything. Oh, didn't do this. So, as you see, as I move between the different modes, everything is staying the same. When I moved it first, I tried moving this, but this will actually be updated. You have to make sure you move the MP instead of directly on the filter. So now we could turn this into a big wavetable device if we wanted to with all sorts of different wavetables. 
So if you're wondering how can you do this and what is this new feature for, that's what it does. It makes your life just a lot easier, especially when it comes to making devices. So if you're somebody that thought before, like, ah, oh, this takes too much time to make the device I want, now it's much, much easier. You can do this very, very quickly. So I know this probably wasn't the most creative one, but a useful one. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up, leave me any questions or comments down below, and be sure to check out all the other plugins at meldaproduction.com. Till next time, see you.